Ladies and gentlemen, primetime CP23 here, and we are about to unlock some primals. So, right now we are using a Scythe of the Cycle, six piece bonus for the Bones of Rathma set, a Requiem Seraplate, a Dainty's Binding, which I just got a, a couple riffs ago. A Littlest Wall, because it uh, it rolled with CDR, physical damage, and max essence on it. So I figured, hey, why not? Reaper's Wraps. Crispin Sentence, of course, with CDR on it. And a Rank 25 Enforcer. A Ring of Royal Grandeur that's not really great. With a Bane of the Trap at level 1. And uh, Halasan's Ascent. Eh, it's got cooldown and crit hit damage on it, along with a Bane of the Powerful at rank 16. My gems are a little screwy this season. Uh, then, of course, in the cube, we've got Relina Shadowhook, Tasker and Theo, and Circle of Julian's Love. Should be fun. This is going to be my first rift using borrowed time which is going to give me uh, cdr for every enemy cursed we've also got bone armor with dislocation for the on command crispin sentence proc skeletal mage with singularity which is going to do all my damage devour with cannibal eyes land of the dead with frozen lands molting on blood rush and as i mentioned decrepify with borrowed time passives we got final service which I don't know that I really like, because I'm not sure how much more beneficial it is to lose your minions than it is to just die and be stuck there with no with no way to summon more minions, but that's another story. Extended Servitude, Dark Reaping, and Overwhelming Essence. Currently we're sitting at 327 Essence, which isn't a lot, but at the same time... Could be a lot worse so let's go ahead and jump into our greater if 70 and let's get this done so first things first cast our number lock okay the hard thing for me is going to be to remember to cast time. Yeah, that was fun. Like, at the same time, I have to cast it because of Dainty's Binding. Okay, so I have already died twice, and we've only been in this rift for 30 seconds. Which is not good. Three times and we've only been in this rift... Uh, one minute, exactly. God, I hope I have enough minions to kill that, and I didn't. <laughs> this is going to be a little rough. Um, wow. Alrighty. So we're already up to a 20 second death cooldown, if you will. Big thing is, can we kill the elites before the timer runs out? Which I was able to do. And then my minions died. Alrighty. <laughs> this is so horrible. If one of these minions blinks at me, I die. 
The squishiness is just too much here. I just procced my second life while in Land of the Dead. And then I died again while in Land of the Dead. We're uh, not going to clear this rift. Not in time, anyway. We may finish it. <laughs> I don't understand the difficulty spike. Like, from a 69 to a 70 should not be this big a damage. A difference in what my enemies are doing to me. Ow, ow, ow. Frickin' mortar. Mortar. There's my second life. Where's the elite? Oh, there it is. It's one of those guys. That disappears on you. There's a conduit, which is going to help. How much is debatable. It's pretty sad that I had to leave in the middle of Land of the Dead, because I had to heal. But, I mean, if I hadn't left, I would have died a whole lot more times, probably. God, I'm gonna die in the middle of... in the middle of my conduit pylon. Conduit is basically my only chance to catch back up to time. Like, I have to find an elite pack right here. <laughs> well, I found it. It killed me. But I found it. Yeah, this is not good. I'm once again going to die while in Land of the Dead. God, losing all your minions is just painful. Like seriously, it's just as bad as dying. that land of the dead I was able to kill two packs if that continues to be the trend every time I get land of the dead then we might be okay I'm stuck <laughs> I couldn't run in any direction <laughs> It's just crazy how much crap there is to do every single time. Like, every single time that you, like, come back alive, there's so much crap for you to do. 
Like, oh, well, you have to make sure that your... That your curse is up. Oh, you have to make sure that your bone armor's up. Oh, you have to make sure that this and this and this and this. So, I mean, we're not going to clear. This is going to be the first GR that I'm going to fail. Which does suck. But at the same time, you know... It's kind of hard to not fail a GR. When you're undergeared, under Paragon... Playing the squishiest class in the game, and you don't have much experience with said class. So I mean, it does suck. It's gonna. It sucks that I'm gonna fail a rift here. Despite that, that channeling pylon. Earlier, I might be in better shape and be able to actually clear, but what are you going to do? Yeah, see, with that channeling pylon, it's going to make my speed look a lot better <laughs> than it should. Yeah, see... That time should have been a lot worse than it was. Let's go take a look at how bad the time was. Yeah, see, that was only 21 seconds short. 21 seconds. So, I mean, that kind of tells you right there where we're at. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I will post a, another video here shortly with my successful GR70 clear. Because, um, I mean, I'm going to clear it. It's just a matter of when, you know. First try was not the charm, but we'll get it. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video, and my internet actually dropped, I think. Oh, no, it didn't. Never mind. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed my failure, please leave a comment down below. Until next time, this is Primetime CP23, and I'm out.